Yo, 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 what's up? Welcome to the Moto Stop Show. We're back at you right here live from Jacksonville, Florida. We got to break this thing off, open it up with some breaking news about James Stewart. What's James Stewart going to be doing next year? Well, we've all been wondering. It was just released today. What's going to happen? So listen up. Who the hell are we kidding? Still a mystery. Nobody knows what James Stewart's doing out there. Only, you know, time will tell. Maybe he'll be on the track. Maybe he won't. But uh, as soon as we do find out, we'll let you know. We do have a little bit of breaking news, though. Um, the AMA numbers were just released. So 2017 AMA's first look. Big shout out to Racer X Online. We're pulling the source from, from you guys. Uh, you know, a couple of the numbers are going to stay the same. But we will have some changes. The biggest change, obviously, is going to be Coop, Cooper Webb. Where's Coop going to go? Well, he picked the number two. So now you'll have under the Yamaha tent the number 22 and the number two. So it's going to look pretty cool under the Yamaha tent. Um, also, a few other ones we have. Joey Savacci is going to take the number 17, Cooper's old number. Alex Martin's going to stay with the same number, which I think is a really good play. You know, his number's got a custom. He's 26. Everybody knows what A. Martin's number is. So now he'll be 26 next year as well. Everybody else should uh, pretty much stay the same on down the way. So, uh, yeah, if you want to check it out, racerxonline.com. They got a really cool article with all the AMA 2017 numbers. Make sure you hit them up and check them out. All right, moving on over. We're going to talk a little bit about Cross Seas Racing. Australian Supercross just happened this past week, and we didn't have any racing you know, big racing going on in the United States, but uh, the Australian Supercross was going on. And big shout out to Justin Brayton, who brought home the win there, followed by Dean Ferris. And uh, on an interview, I heard him, Brayton, say Ferris was on his game. He was actually really coming pretty strong and hard throughout the motos, but uh, he was able to come home with the win. Will Hahn, number 66, got fifth place. And then uh, you guys know him, the seven deuce deuce, came home with a 10th place with a solid ride by Adam Antonap. So, um... And Kyle Peters down there, Kyle Peters didn't finish, but it uh, looks like he got a fifth, 15th place no matter what, just being out there in the Australian Supercross. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, keeping with the Australian theme, let's talk about our epic clip of the week. Is it an epic fail or a straight ripper? Well, once again, we're bringing an epic fail to you. Coming from Australian Supercross this past weekend, Jono Krusek uh, at 56 underscore is his hashtag or his handle number on Instagram. The gate drops. It's a downhill start. The gate bounces up, catches a back tire. He's not able to ride over. Flips it over. It's a pretty sick clip. So uh, follow along right here while we watch this clip. You'll see the, the revs are getting high. The gate's going to drop right about now. As it comes down, it bounces back up, grabs his front tire, and he flips right over the handlebars. Uh, not the way he wanted to ride, but, man, what a sick clip that was right there. All right, sticking with the overseas themes, we're going to touch just a little bit on motocross the nations. I know we've been uh, hitting on it the last few shows, but it's coming up this weekend. I want to give you guys just a little insight of how you're going to be able to see it. It's going to be live on CBS Sports Network. That's going to be 4 a.m. Pacific time or 7 a.m. Eastern time. So make sure if you got the DVR, you tune it in real quick. Don't forget, because if you're like me and you forget to record, you get freaking angry and... You have to yell at your wife, and then she punches you, and then it's a bad situation. So uh, make sure CBS Sports Network, 4 a.m. Pacific or 7 a.m. Eastern. So uh, if you're going to try to follow along online or whatever, here's how it's going to break down. Saturday, September 24th, you're going to have 4.30 is uh, free content in the studio show. At 5.20 is going to be the live MXGP qualifying heats. At 6.20 live MX2 qualifying heats, at 7.20 live opening open class qualifying heats. Sunday, September 25th, it's going to be uh, at 1.50, your live B finals. At 4 o'clock, live race 1. At 5.30, live race 2. And uh, 7 o'clock, it's going to be your live race 3 with your opening MXGP rounding out your field. And probably right about after that last race, race number 3, is when USA should be crowned the champions because we all know they're going to win. Um, you know, Team USA going there, I think, like I, we talked about last week, with a great chance now to win. You know, they're going up against 
eh, a lot of people that are hurt out there. There's some good riders, don't get me wrong, but there's quite a few teams that are not sending their best riders. Um, so we do stand a great chance. And uh, our captain, Cooper Webb, and Jason Anderson, and Alex Martin, is going to bring this damn title home for us, uh, break our losing streak here in 2016 motocross the nation. So make sure you guys tune in. Root for USA. Put your damn flags on. Put your, you know, PBR, whatever you got to do to get in the USA mode. But be out there rooting for Team USA. Hey, guys, you know, a big shout-out to Big Deal Productions. Not only are they here in the studio with me and producing this awesome video, giving you guys entertainment out there, but they're also at the local tracks in the state of Florida and surrounding areas. You've probably seen them. If you haven't, they've probably seen you. They're out there on the track sweating their ass off, taking the coolest pictures, making the coolest videos. If you don't know what Big Deal Production is, follow along real quick while we play this quick promotional video, and we'll touch on it real quick. It looks like you're doing great at the track. Are you surprised? Well, that's okay. You may not have seen us, but we definitely saw you. When you're done racing at the track, go online to BigDealPhotos.com for pictures, t-shirts, and more. All right, we hope you guys enjoyed that cool video. I mean, they do amazing work out there. Again, big shout out to Big Deal Productions for everything they do for me, everything they do for you guys. If you want to make a memory that's going to last a long time, make sure you get with Big Deal Productions. Big Deal Productions, check out BigDealProduction.com for all your photo video needs. All right, we're gonna move on. We're gonna talk a little bit about local racing action here in the state of Florida. The Florida Gold Cup started up round number one, happened at Florida Gatorback Track in Newberry, Florida. Man, I just said Florida a shit ton of times right there. I almost got tongue twisted, but whatever, we'll keep going. All right, so round number one, Gold Cup. We gotta talk a little bit about something very cool that was done again. Um, in memory of Kirk Layfield, they did a Kirk Layfield tribute to him. His best friend actually was able to get on his bike, do a lap around, stop, rev it up, just sending out one last ride to Kirk Layfield. Absolutely amazing. They put together, there was a bunch of different film crews out there. They put together some really cool mem memorial videos. Make sure you check them out. Google Kirk Layfield, YouTube Kirk Layfield. Take a quick look at this one right here that Big Deal Productions produced for him.
All right, if that video right there doesn't send chills and just uh, get you going, I don't know what else will. Um, there was a lot of great race in action out at uh, round one of the Florida Gold Cup, Gator back there. We tried to get the results. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go there, so I didn't get to physically see it. We had our film crew out there working all day all, uh, you know, long, getting the cool videos, cool shots. So if you were there and you were racing, make sure you check out BigDealProduction.com. See if you're on there. But um, I got to take a quick trip down to the Keys and enjoyed my time uh, in the sun down there, riding some cool vintage 1977, 79 RD 400s, just enjoying life. Um, make sure you check out all of our videos and on Instagram, Facebook, whatever, follow us along and you can see all the cool stuff that we did down there for the Phil Peterson poker run, but it was absolutely amazing time. Guys, it's been real. We're going to keep this one short and sweet, try to get you out of here. There's going to be a lot of racing action coming up next week. So look forward to the next episode of the Moto Stop Show. You guys know who I am. I'm CJ Harris, the host that tries to bring you the most action in motocross. Peace.